today we'll be looking at a watch winder from J. Queen. They were kind enough to send it in for review, so let's take a look. It is an affordable but premium looking winder that costs $139. For that money you get a huge package done in wood, ebony in this case, with a dark red color. The product looks and feels premium with massive hinges for the lid and machined switches for the winder modes. The clicks between modes are very solid, almost mechanical in feel. This particular model comes with two motors and stands, which e with each one having slots for two watches, making it four in total. It is powered by directly plugging it in the wall via the supplied power cord, or you can insert two D-sized batteries on the bottom if you don't want a wire running from the winder. That is how I set up mine, as I plan on using this more as a display case than winder. Personally, I don't like the idea of having my watches running while I don't wear them. But for the purpose of this video, I did use it as a winder to see if it can hold the charge on my watches. I even placed my Seiko SNX111 while it was completely dead to see if it will be able to get it going. And sure enough, it made it start and managed to wind it, so it does its job as a winder. Each motor has five modes off when you want to use it as a display box, then two modes with winder rotating for 2 minutes, then pausing for 13, running for 12 hours and being stopped for 12 hours. One will go clockwise, the other one counterclockwise, depending on which one you select. The last two modes are alternating the rotation, meaning they will go both ways in a single mode. The first one does clockwise for 2 minutes, then stops for 18, does 2 minutes the other way and again stops for 18, while the last one does 4 minutes clockwise followed by a 28 minute pause, then turning 4 minutes the other way, followed by another 28 minute pause. Both have the same 12 hour on, 12 hour off cycle like the first two. I use the last two modes as it means it will cover any watch regardless of it having bidirectional winding or not. The rotating bases are made out of the same wood material as the box and feature faux leather lining. The most important thing about the winder are pillows which have a sizing option, something very important to me personally. Due to me having a smallish wrist, I always have trouble fitting my watches with bracelets on most pillows as they're simply too big. This one has a removable sleeve that changes the pillow's size from 19 to 17 centimeters, making it almost perfect for me. All in all, as a display box, which I'm using it for, it is excellent with a premium feel and look. The plexiglass did have some stains from production, but I managed to remove those after making some of the shots in this video. The case on the other hand has permanent markings in the form of dots, again probably from the production process, and those I wasn't able to remove. They're not as visible as you have to look at a certain angle to see them, but they're there, reminding you of the price point of the product. None of these are a deal breaker as the box still looks impressive. As a winder, I haven't used it long enough to see how it holds up over time. In these couple of weeks, it has worked flawlessly and is very quiet. With the lid opened, you can hear the motors just barely, with it closed, the winder becomes completely silent. Whether or not it will get louder with time, I do not know, but I will report back when more time passes, as I will use one side as a winder for test purposes. I'll leave the link to their webpage for you to check them out, as this is just one of many models they offer. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.